The woman I was with, we were married 13 years, about to be 14, a couple, like a, a couple weeks before our anniversary came around the corner. She just came out and told me she didn't love me out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when I thought everything was fine, you know, we just had Christmas, you know, we were with the family. I, in my mentality, I thought everything was fine. Turns out it wasn't behind, behind closed doors, I guess. Something was happening, and something, you know, and all these years, I'm not the type to, like, you know, people check each other's phones and stuff. I was yeah. never that. You never done that, huh? In the, in the 14 years we were together, never. I held her up high, you know, like, I don't think she's this type of woman that would do something like this. And uh, one day, you know, when you get that feeling, something, she, when somebody tells you, you know, they don't love you out of nowhere, and when you're thinking, it seemed fine, everything looked fine, and when I just checked, and sure enough, it was, it was not that she didn't love me, there was already someone else the whole time. The whole time, so, like, when you say the whole time, when did you feel like uh, something was going wrong? I, this is the thing, I didn't. Yeah, then once she told me that, I'm like, this is I just like a, a blindside out of nowhere for me, you know? I, like I said, we, everything was fine. We went out, we hang out. Our intimate life was okay, you know? It was nothing crazy about, like, we were bored or nothing like that. But then once she told me that, I was like, you know what? I checked her phone, and sure enough, I saw there was another guy, you know, and I, a lot of stuff runs through your head when, when you find that out, you know. You, your mind just runs wild, you know. As you're reading, you're imagining stuff, you yeah. know. And then I get that feeling, that not feeling of anger. And and I just couldn't look at her the same, you know. And, then the, and the thing is... She works late, so all those times I thought she was doing overtime, more than overtime. Wow. So what she used to do for a living? Uh, she drives too. Oh, so after that, both of you guys came home like late? Yeah. All the time? Wow, 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 wow. So 14 years together. Yeah. So she, did, did, did she tell you like when she started like, uh, doing stuff with the other guy? She didn't want to admit anything. She said... Oh, for her, it wasn't like him? She did nothing she, wrong? She's in her... In her head, she kept denying everything. Oh, my God. Saying nothing, you know, and... Then I called her out what I found. Mm-hmm. That's... You shouldn't be going through my phone. Like, the one time I check it, you know, when she will constantly check my stuff, you know. It just, you know, people go through stuff, so they have, like, that thing, like, okay, let me just check, you know, make sure everything's fine. Um, and uh, she was just in denial of everything. I don't think she wanted to be held accountable, you know? When they, people get caught, they they try to justify what justify, they did. Justify, yeah. And uh, I just, my only thing was just totally, you just get out of the room. I don't want to be next to you right now. So you were not like hungry, like I was, upset, like you didn't want to left throw a punch, something like that, nothing? She left the room. I broke the table, I had in my room. Okay. You know, I don't want to act up, and, you know, and, and I break something and then it hits her, you know, or something like that. I'd rather just deal with my own yeah, demons yeah, yeah. and my own thoughts of myself, you know. And the thing is that she would she lie to me and then she lie to our kids. I got four kids. I got two daughters with her. When I met her, she already had two boys. Um, and I raised them, you know, they're my, they're my sons, you know. Yeah. And so that's why I say I have four kids, uh, but biologically I have two. But I raised them like they're my own and they are my kids, so wow. I claim them. You know, I, I'm not gonna say I don't have them, you know, but they're my boys. I love them with everything I got. And when a man goes through something, you know, we could destroy the whole world at the end of the day, you know, just, we'd rather destroy ourselves than act out, yeah. you know. So I just chose to get, stay in the room, go through my feelings, go through my thought process. Like I said, your, your 
your mind runs wild and you just think all the stuff you're not supposed to do. I had like a little foldable table you get at Target, you know, Lofa? Mm -hmm. I just... <laughs> that, and, uh, that, that was it. Uh, I, I wanted more, but you know, but I was like, you know what? I just lay down. There you go. The thought just ran through it. You know, I have to make changes, you know, use this as as fuel to better myself instead of being dumb you know yeah and uh, so i was like you know what i went I, went, I rode into the gym i went to temp uh i went to planet fitness and i just started walking slightly jogging because i can't run as much um doing some weight just letting everything out do you know like why she's she she has done that or you don't know she, she didn't explain to you nothing she said um she just wasn't happy the, the the other trippy part was um she told me she's been thinking about this for a while after 14 years about not being with me but mm. i didn't i didn't know it was another guy at the same so you time. think it's only one guy or cooper a bunch she said there's just one guy Well, what I seen was one guy. And this guy was uh, older than her, younger? Ten years younger than us. Ten years, like 20 years old. When I found out that she was talking to a guy, you know, my main thing was like, hopefully she didn't sleep with the guy. And then, you know, I then I prayed and I was like, God, you know, just... If she's not the one for me, just remove her from my life. I was, you know... I was I was able to forget that she was talking to a guy, but then I was like, I can't lower myself to that point. And then I told God, you know what? If she's not the one, remove her from me. Sure enough, I talked to her and she's like, I slept with her. And then she went like this. I kid you not, she literally, she had a sweater up. She had a hickey right here. She has what? A hickey? They kill us, is that? Well, you know... Uh, when someone kiss you or something like you that? You know when they kiss you and they leave oh, you like a mark? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously. So that was like a few days back. And it was funny because when she told me, she, oh, yeah, it was just four days ago. Wow, and she has the, the gut to say that. She's like, I want you to know that I'm serious. I don't want I don't want to be with you. I'm like... Wow. She was in shape? No. So did you see some change mentally and physically? Mentally wise, I'm fine. Like, I, I don't dwell on it anymore. You know, but I just got, like I said, you just got that, you still got that blood pumping from there. You know, it yeah. still taunts you here and there, you know? Like when, let's say you want to meet a female eventually, yeah, we won't be able to trust somebody. You see that? Yeah. So because you were betrayed and then you can't have trust because someone already, already like broke, bro, bro, broken the, the, the door, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't close it anymore. I, you know, I didn't consider myself like a vulnerable person. Like I was never like sad or something like that. You know, it was hard. You know, mm. just the way I was raised, technically. And uh, I can tell you, like calm. You know. But when she did that, I just told her, you know, congratulations, you broke me. Wow. And you now, just when I look at her, I get that not feeling. You know, yeah. I can't look at her the same anymore. But at the end of the day, she's the mother of my kids. Yeah. You know, I just wish nothing but the best for her. And uh, hopefully she finds what she wanted, you know. I did everything for her. I gave her everything. When I met her, she was living with her mother. And not a decent apartment, you know what I mean? They were all yeah. cooped up in there. And uh, I, want nothing, I wanted nothing but the best when I met her. You yeah. know, like I said, she had two kids. And I, at the time when I met her, I was young, you know, we were out of high school and stuff, and I wasn't working, you know, being dumb on the streets and stuff, but I was like, you know, I, I love this girl so much, wow. you know, let me get myself together. I got a job uh, to maintain the, the boys and her, you know, taking the bus from L.A. to the city of Vernon um, in the middle of the night, but I need to put money on the table, I need to provide you know, yeah. as, a, as a man as a man yeah you have you to know? you have to like i said no matter what i want the best for her and it's, you know hopefully she's doing fine you know um but you know i couldn't i couldn't act out just 
pound everything because the end of the day the kids will see everything yeah, yeah. Um, I'll get myself into trouble yeah, for sure. and it's not worth it for somebody that wasn't willing to think about you you and your feelings in your heart to put myself in that situation I'm not going to lower myself to be like I'm going to act out because you acted out you know oh, I see. two wrongs don't make a right yeah you know. Now, today, you don't see yourself with someone else anymore. Not at the moment. You know, when time comes, it comes, but, you know, I'm not looking. But you're not looking for that. No, I'm, I want to... I'm trying to better myself more than I am already. Yes. I want to focus on me. Um, like I said, if it happens, it happens. Yes. You know, but, you know, God knows when it's right, you know. And it's when you least suspect it at the end of the day. Mm the right woman will show up. Like yeah. I said, if God showed me when I asked him, she wasn't the one, she wasn't the one. And, but, you, know, and you asked him. Yeah, which is the crazy part. I I didn't think I would get this uh, much of a response from it. But he showed me. But at the end of the day, I got blessed with kids, you know, and you know they're my everything. You know, They'll keep me on check, That's you know. Good, and my boys, they keep me on track. You That's know, amazing. Uh, and uh, you know, by yourself, then. Yeah. You have them. Yeah. Now, like I said, I got my brother. He's helping me out. My mom and dad to check up on me. You know, sometimes, like at the beginning, I stayed away from everybody. Like my mom, they try to check. I, I pretend everything was fine. Yeah. But like I said, I just wanted to be left alone. Could you cuss here? Yeah. Oh, life's a bitch. But I'm, we're the end. That we're in love with life. You know, it, 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 you know, so that stuff happens to you, you know, so that you want to be like, man, whoever's writing my story, put the pen down a little bit, you know, I just, I need some time to get myself together, but life won't do that. No. You just gotta. Life goes on. Life goes on, you know, everything happens for a reason at the end of the day, you know, maybe it's a. It was a sign for you to change your life, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to be, to be better. To better yourself, what is your goal right now, physically? Physically? I want to live a better, healthier life and, you know, disciplining myself, you know. Because at the beginning, like they say, the being when you get when stuff is the easiest thing. Mm. It just ain't consistent at the end of the day afterwards. Um, I want to lose a, like 100 pounds at least, 100 or more. 3.44, not bad, bro. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's good, huh? It's good, yeah. bro. 3.44, you thought it was more. Perfect. Aggressive. <clears throat> yeah. Give me one more, give me one more. Last one, last one, last one. Let's go up, 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 up. <sighs> That's it, bro. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oof. Have a drink, buddy. Have a drink, a little bit. <sighs> Three, four, Last, 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 push. Good job. Nice. With the ball, you know, that gives you extra weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Poof, you have to push. I feel like I'm like cramping since then. I'm sorry, I don't it's out. I know. No stop. You strong. You, you too strong. You strong, bro. Come on. Come on, don't stop. Think about what happened to you, bro. Think about that. Fight, 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 fight. fight. <sighs> 10 seconds left, 10, 10, no stop, no stop. Today's the first day. It was hard, but it's doable. It's got to have that fuel to motivate yourself to get the work done. You know, it's just, it's intimidating, you know, first day, doing something where you got to push beyond your limits. Now, I was sore working on my brother last night, but can't use that as an excuse not to get the work done. I, I just wanted to challenge you. I know this is heavier, but I just want to see uh, what is your limit. Don't give up. Don't give up. All your problem, all your problem, bro. Deal with that. Let's go. Only 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Good job, good job, bro. I know it's tiring, but this is like life. It's like all your problems. Yeah. If your problem was easy, were well, easy, sorry. 
you, 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 you will be weak. Yeah. Your problem are here to make you stronger. Right? Is it? Yes. Yeah, it's like the weight. It's like the same thing. Think about that. Don't stop. As soon as you stop, it's done. Push. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't stop. Don't stop. Last one. Give me one more. Give me one more. Good job. Excellent. That's it. Rest. Rest, bro. Good job. How was that? Painful. That's what we need to, to level up. Should yes. be should be pain. Yes. Life is tough. Life is a bitch. You told me that. Yeah, it is. It's nice. If life if life was nice, was cool, it's not good. Yeah. Life should be hard, man. You know, be too easy. Otherwise, you will be like weak, so weak. Every time you're gonna be sick. Yeah. Every time those women they will slap you on the face. It's true. No. You have to be strong. Think what happened to you. Let's go. Nothing can stop you, bro. Now you're rock. You're rock. Let's go. You're rock, bro. Don't stop. Don't stop, buddy. You're rock. Come on, you have to fight now. Boom. Let's go. Boom. Let's go. 20 left. 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. 15. Don't stop. Come on, bro. Come on. You got this. Let's go. Boom. 10 seconds left. Let's go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job, bro. Good job. He guided me the right way how to do stuff correctly. You know, sometimes you have those people that will train with you, but as you struggle, they just watch you. And he encourages you to keep going. You, know, you use what you go through, every situation you went through as fuel. That's what got me through it today. You know, having somebody to have your back through it, you know, it's good to have someone like that in your corner. No excuses. Two is just good, huh? Nice, bro. It's not gonna be easy, man. It's not. You gotta work through it. Exactly. You got this. Don't stop. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Control. Control. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Let's go. Let's go. Out there. I got cheated on. And, uh, I started letting it consume me, and I decided to, a week and a half later, I decided to, you know what, use it as fuel, you know, don't let it consume you, just take the, you know, the first step is the scariest step, you know, it's just about uh, being there at the end of the day, you know, if you're there, that means you're already committed, as long as you show up, that's already showing a sign that you're willing to do the work. Like I said, I drove out here just thinking, like, nervous, like, what's it going to be like, but just got to show up. Just got to deal with it. Roll with the punches at the end of the day. Life's a bitch, but you just got to deal with it. Push beyond my limits. You just told me, your mom says your actions sh should talk for, for you, not your words. Most definitely. Anybody could talk, but your actions don't show you. So I'll talk. 